we're making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yay! It is Monday evening and we are getting started on our food prep for the week. My main goals this week is to get a big batch of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches done. And I did just do this a few weeks ago, but my husband has been eating them every day for work just with the heat. That's like all he wants to eat when he's out working. So got another, got to do another big batch of those for him. And then also I have a big bag of flour. Mm -hmm. Several months ago I did a video on pizza crusts. And I used a big, I forget if it was 10 pounds or 15 pounds of flour. Um, and I had gotten a two pack of those bags of flour. And I used one of those bags for the pizza crust I made in the video. And I will put that video up in the cards for you to check out if you want to um, know how I do my freezer pizza crusts. But I still had the other bag in my pantry that's been sitting there for quite a long time. So I got hot dogs at the store this morning and we are going to do pretzel dogs. We're going to do a huge batch of dough and we're going to do pretzel dogs um, with however much I need to wrap all those hot dogs. You excited about that? And then with whatever dough is left over, we'll just do pizza crusts with the rest. So this evening we're going to try to get our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches done. I have four loaves of bread that we're going to make into sandwiches. And then the dough for the pretzel dogs and the pizza crusts is a no need bread dough, so I have to start it tonight and then it'll be ready to work with tomorrow at some point. So tonight, all that's on the agenda is the sandwiches and the getting the dough mixed up and just left on the counter. So here we go making the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yay! Alright, we got three loaves finished and one loaf left. We have been working so hard and we have been doing homeschool at the same time. We were talking about how many slices of bread are in each loaf and uh, we counted by twos. We I also, did. yes you did, and we also dis determined if the loaf of bread had an even or odd number of slices. How do you know, how do you know if you have an even or odd number of slices? If it's an odd amount, that means there is a bunch of pairs, but just one that doesn't have another piece of bread. Yeah. That's four odd one that's all alone. Yeah. yeah. And if it's even, they don't have just one that's, that's not paired. Yep. All right, we're going to get going on our last loaf. Yay! Now I'm going to go ahead and get my um, dough mixed up for the pretzel dogs and the pizza crusts. I have a 10 pound bag here that I have had sitting in my pantry for a while and need to get used up. I'm going to be doing three bowls because it's hot and I expect it to rise a lot. 
and I don't want it to overflow. So here we go with mixing up the bread dough. It's actually been a couple of days since I mixed up the dough. Um, I didn't get to it as quickly as I thought I would, so I did put it in the fridge because I try not to let it um, sit on the, on the counter for more than 24 hours. So it's been in the fridge for a little while, but I pulled it out and I'm getting going on these uh, pretzel dogs. And I have a few in the oven right now that everyone will enjoy now and I'll, I'll probably cook an, another batch um, and have those in the fridge and then the rest I will freeze to cook for later. I got a bunch cooked ready to throw into the fridge for lunches and the kids have already eaten several of those and these ones I'm gonna throw into the freezer they don't look too pretty at this point but once they get cooked they look pretty nice next thing I need to get done is the pizza crusts I pulled out my recycled bags from the freezer kept those from last time just threw them in the freezer so that I didn't have to waste these nice Ziploc bags um, and use new ones every time. So I grab my bag, uh, my pile of those out of the freezer and I'm gonna get going on bagging up these this dough and flattening it out for pizza crusts. And I do have a video both on the um, pretzel dogs and the pizza crust. So if you want more details on how to do all that, just um, go to those videos up in the cards. Freezer, and then we'll do, we'll count the rest, okay? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15 pizza crusts that we're going to throw the rest of these out in the freezer and they'll be all done. Yeah, and they're going to cook toppings on the little 
bell peppers and no peppers. Well, we'll put toppings on them when it's time to cook them. It's not time to cook them yet. We're just going to have them in the freezer for when we need them. Okay? All right, we got the pretzel dogs, some of them cooked, some of them in the freezer, and we got the pizza crusts in the freezer, and uh, I think we are done. So thanks for coming along on our kitchen days. Didn't end up being one day, ended up being a few days. So that's it from us. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> You're a goof. All right, let me do the rest. I like helping you. Thanks, I like it when you help me. It's so nice. And I like um, when you're um, just mowing too, because this is your job and uh, both our job. Yeah, we're working together. Yeah. It's like we're on a team. Yeah.